Hey everybody, welcome back. This is our late spring update. My computer screen died, so everything that was on it went with the computer to go get fixed, but I still had some video, so I thought I'd make a spring update before it was late summer. <laughs> so here it is. Here we are. I just feel like time has flown by since Christmas time. We have five weeks of school left, and then we will have completed a whole school year here in Roatan. And we just kind of want to show you some of the updates from the past few months that have brought us joy and just how we've been able to spend our time. Um, our girls are growing up. We've both of them have celebrated birthdays. We started in March with celebrating Frankie's 10th birthday. Um, each of the girls had their birthday list of their favorite activities. And number one on Frankie's list was to go to the cafe that's near our house. So we, we all went for breakfast before school on her birthday. And that was, it was fun. One of the major highlights of our spring was on Frankie's birthday our best friends from Texas arrived for a visit so her birthday party um, was filled with memories of our best friends fun times swimming and just playing and laughing and uh, kind of picking up where we left off only in a new place <laughs> so those times are really uh, special. We packed the weekend full of, of activities, visiting um, local fun areas, having cake, and just hanging out together. So one of the events for that weekend that was happening was a big music festival. And um, so that was fun. The, three families that we used to hang out in Texas together so we just kind of picked up right where we left off only here just listening to music the kids had fun dancing right on the beach it was a beautiful evening um, it was a benefit for a few for two of the major um, foundations on the island one of them serves kids and the other one is a medical clinic and so it was a huge turnout um, for those two well-loved foundations on the island. Um, and we just kind of like Frankie had this extended birthday party. Um, we also were able to visit a local tourist island that just has, it's like a little private island with your own little beach. They have kind of like a little mini zoo. Um, and it was really beautiful. I'd never, we had never been there before. <laughs> and then that evening, we went to Christie's Overlook to eat with everybody. And that was fun. That was our second time there. First time there, we were with other friends from the Dallas area as well. We've really enjoyed um, hanging out and getting to know our life group. It's been a big encouragement, I think, for all of the families involved. So this is at our life group. Charlie's birthday was in April, my mom came to visit, and then one of our close friends in the life group, um, the Hines family, were also celebrating their return to Canada after they finished their adoption of their daughter here from Honduras. So um, it truly has been um, kind of like a second family for us, our life group. Um, and so again, in April, Charlie had her birthday, her 12th birthday. And one of, like I said, the girls had made these lists of what they wanted. And on Charlie's list, she said, I would like my family to come visit me. 
And so my mom uh, surprised Charlie and Frankie and came and visited us for that long weekend. And that was really special for my mom to be able to um, kind of just do life with us for a few days and see what it's like. And we did all the things, uh, our favorite restaurants, life group, and then Charlie's number one birthday request was we went zip lining. And so it was a neat adventure, a first time experience for all of us. And she loved it and she will not stop asking to go back <laughs> to zip line. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. February or March and April just flew by seemed like we were doing stuff the whole time. It was really nice to have um, people come visit. We had one, two, at least three people come visit. And then, uh, like Bonnie said, the Heinz uh, were finally successful in completing their adoption and going back. So it was good, it was good to send people in our life group off and um, just see them, their assignment to go back home and finally be completed with that whole process that took a really long time. And as a life group, um, you know, we've been praying, we pray for each other. So I feel like part of that, you know, when you say sending them back, like every step of the way, I feel like, you know, God showed us that um, he hears us and kind of like we prayed them back. And so it was just a real celebration when God answered that, that last prayer and they got their Canadian visa paperwork. Um, it was bittersweet. We still miss them. But it's been a great spring. I guess it's pretty much over now that it's May. It's the beginning of summer. But spring just flew by. Summer's right around the corner. We have four weeks of school left. And then we're on summer break. So this... Past the end of the year has gone by super fast, it seems like. So that's good and bad, I guess. What do you mean? It just gone by. I don't like it when time flies. So we are looking ahead to continuing to work at the school next school year. So we'll have the summer break to prepare for that. We also will be looking and praying about additional income through the summer because we don't get paid through the summer. So it won't always just be a break because we kind of have to do some side hustling. Then we'll jump into another school year and just really praying about how that we're being used the way God wants us to be used while we're here. think it's different than what I thought it would be I think he's shown you know like this the sermon this morning was just love God and love others and I think that's a lot easier than we try and make it and so it's just been a lot of spending time with people including just our family and just investing in relationships and especially the kids at school and just uh, getting to know them and having them know that we love them and that we are we we believe that they have value and that God has a good plan for them and I think that that we want that culture to spread in our school that the kids that come to our school know that that the adults there uh, love them and uh, so that's what we're looking forward to in the next few months and hopefully we'll be able to be a little bit more frequent with with our updates now that we've got a new computer so continue to reach out to us like you can leave messages on the video on YouTube or if you have our contact info um, send us uh, messages through Facebook messenger or Instagram messages but also just if you have certain questions anything you want to know about or see about we'd love to be able to um, have some, some more two-way communication with you guys as well so we want to hear from you and then also be able to share with you anything that you are curious about or that you'd like to know so hopefully we'll see you 
fairly soon with another <laughs> update or video. We appreciate you guys. Love you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye-bye. Good job, girl. Holding on with two hands instead of holding on to the fire.